In this video, we are going to cover the use of routines. Routines are reusable processes that can be called by external systems, parent trees, and other routines in the system. Routines can be thought of as subprocesses that are part of a larger parent process. A good example of a situation where you would use a routine is within the approval process. If there are multiple parent processes that share the same approval process, it makes sense to move the approval into a routine that can be managed globally. For more information on approvals as routines, see the Kinetic Task Using Routines for Approvals video. To build a new routine, navigate to the Build tab in the Task Administration Console and click Routines. From this page, you can import new routines, add a routine, or view routines that exist in the system. We can filter routines by searching via the routine name. When you click on a routine, it brings up the details and how often it's used. By clicking the Edit tab, we can see the different attributes associated with the routine, including the routine name, which categories it exists in, its inputs, and outputs. This routine is used to send an email to a recipient of a request. Its inputs are the ID of the recipient, and its outputs are the email sent date. We can edit this routine by clicking the Builder tab. Within the Builder, we can see the different functions that make up the routine. We're looking up recipient information, we're looking up the parent record details, and then we're sending out the email. If this specific set of functions was not in a routine, it would need to be repeated multiple times in the parent process. If we open up the Send Email Handler, we can see that we're retrieving the recipient's email address from another node that has executed previously within the routine. We can also see the HTML email body that was built using this routine. It's grabbing details from the Lookup Recipient Information node as well as the Lookup Parent Record Details node. After the routine executes, we can see that it's returning its output of email sent date. This output will be available from the process that called this routine.